Fuck it, let's move forward. Let's move forward. Moving on to the next shot, we got TKO with the brass knuckles. You feel me? And we're out. <sighs> My problem is I ain't eat this morning. Yeah, you fucked up. Yeah. I ate some grits. I'm pretty good right now. You like you like cheese in your grits? Do I? You know how I eat my grits? I eat grits and bacon, and then I put buku Tabasco sauce in my grits, and I take the bacon and scoop the grits over and eat that bitch. You, you scoop your grits with the bacon? Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. I like Rest bacon. Rest in mine. Rest I, like, I like bacon, but bacon's so good. I don't but, eat pork no more. Hey, I wanted to stop eating <laughs> pork, but it's hard, man. You like turkey bacon? I do. But, you, uh, can go, you can go in. Like, turkey sauce? Like... Mr. T sauces is not like pork. Man, man, the sausage. I like man, the sausage. So what about Mr. T sauce? Never had it. Shit good. It's not pork. Pepperoni. I like pepperoni. Oh, yeah. That's turkey pepperoni. Not at, not at your place. Not yeah. at your, your, yeah. your favorite spot, but it's I'm a, turkey pepperoni. I'm going to try to stop because I tried, I told my old lady, man, I don't want to eat pork chops no more anyway. It's it's a, it's a dope because once you get off it, you can't go back. It makes you sick. I'm gonna try to. I'm not a Muslim either. Yeah, I'm gonna try to stop because I, I just want to stop trying to eat pork. That, that's besides the point. Yeah. Besides, the, we giving buku. But this is how you know you down in one. Buku when game. You, when you drinking, yeah, shit just start rolling like this. Shit natural, man. Like when I get drunk, I be really running it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like you ever want to get some game from me? Just get me drunk, man. Free game from Johnny Domino, right? Look, that's my consultation fee. Drunkness. Yeah. Free game. Yeah, Free man. game from Johnny Domino. <laughs> <laughs> so, right now, top five uh, movies ever. Top five movies from you, right now. Oh, fuck if you. Okay, my number one movie is uh-huh. Man on Fire, Denzel Washington. Uh-huh. I love that movie because That's a great movie. they took the contrast of a a, 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 mis- a mercenary, mm-hmm. a black mercenary who kind of gave up on life and the contrast of him falling in love with the little white girl mm-hmm. was so dope and powerful to me. Yeah. To where, because yeah, if he loved the little black girl, he could relate his, mm-hmm. his children, his aunt, his niece, whatever. Mm-hmm. But him loving Dakota Fan in that movie yeah. and, and <laughs> her bringing life back into him mm-hmm. and when they took her, he felt like they took his life. And when he got on there and started tearing the motherfucker's ass up. That's number one favorite, or number five? That's number one. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to start like that. Okay. Uh, number two movie, uh, I'm going to do Paid in Full. Paid in Full? Oh, yeah. yeah. Timeless. I can hit my thuggy on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Timeless. Uh, based on true events. Yeah. Um, it's, it's super, super dope. Um, uh, my number three going to be Scarface. Mm-hmm. I had to watch that before I could start selling drugs mm-hmm. as a kid. Like, that was a rule for my plug. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, seriously. Like, the nigga's like, you know what's on Scarface? Yeah. Like, them niggas discredited me. Like, no, I ain't never seen it. Man, you never seen Scarface, son? <laughs> I'm like, ah, oh, shit. Let me go watch this shit. And I watched it. It's funny mm-hmm. how at first he was, I ain't going to say nothing, but now he's talking about these yeah, legal talk- stuff now. Yeah, I'm talking about it now, man. I'm a retired drug dealer. Yeah. I sold a lot of yeah. fucking dope, man. Yeah. Yeah, from from, from Coke, Reggie. So. x pill. I sold everything but mushrooms. Everything. Yeah, and, I, and I ran from the, uh, I, I, I ran from the heroin too. Yeah. When uh, I, I did, I sold Roxy's, but when Roxy stopped and heroin came, I said, I can't fuck it. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't, I don't never be scared of the time. Yeah. Because you go, you gotta take the reward. Come with the time. Yeah. You, if you can't take the, if you can't take the time, don't take the reward. Yeah. You know, niggas shouldn't sell drugs if they ain't willing to do forty years. Yeah. You could do that. You could never get caught with dope and get forty years of being on the phone. So you can't accept that. Stay your bitch ass out of the street. And I would always tell children, don't fuck with the street. Yeah. But to all the niggas, you know niggas not going to listen. I didn't listen. Who yeah. could tell me something at that time? My daddy tried to tell me not to hustle. He was still selling crack. Okay. At 74. Rest in peace, Pop. That shit in my blood. I'm going to always hustle till I leave this bitch. Legal hustle. I'm just legal hustling now. Fuck the police. I can say that shit so <laughs> strong, man. <laughs> fuck all you bitches. Yeah. Not my nephew, though. I love that nigga. He a police. Fuck the rest of you, bitch. Not, not Mr. George, no. That's my nigga. Yeah. 
fuck with a couple of them niggas. This my family, here. So look. But look. fuck the police, man. I don't sell shit now, man. I ain't got nothing going on. So look, man on fire, paid in full, Scarface. <laughs> shit, where I'm going? Last two, fourth and, fourth and fifth, best movies of all the time. God damn. Okay, I gotta pay homage to Friday, to uh -huh. Cube, still relevant. My kids on it. My kids, 2000 baby. Yeah. Um, I gotta pay homage to, to Cube, man. Cube. Cube, look, thank all the people Cube created. Mike Epps, money, uh, Mike Epps, uh, uh, pimping, uh, Cat Williams, yeah, uh, Chris Tucker. He created all these stars. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> shit, my fifth. What I always like to go see. I don't even fucking know. Uh, oh shit. Boom. Best new movie out right now that you've seen. Recent he, movie. Just say that. Best recent oh, movie uh, you've seen. Recent movie. I'm fucking with uh, I I I. Well, you know what? Get out wasn't that. It wasn't that good. It was. Good. It was. I right, look. I right. get out. It wasn't I'm like you, I'm dying to see. This I'm gonna tell you what. Is. Get out was. Get out was the best movie that came out in a long time. A long time. Yeah. So everybody just hyped it up and like he, that. He gave. He gave all the but, conspiracy theorists niggas something to talk but about. J.K. Studios say if you watch it more than once. You catch little shit that you never catch. Yeah, but fuck them Easter eggs. What they call that shit? Easter eggs? Fuck that. You know, I mean, all right, let me just pick a fucking movie and move on. I'm not picking Get Out. Fuck yeah. that. Uh, what the fuck do I'm I I'm going to see It today. Well, you know, I saw the original It. I seen that too. Uh, what do I like to watch movie-wise? You know who else I like? Adam Sandler, man. Uh huh. So we we do any Adam Sandler movie. Like I think all his shit was dope. He used the same cast. Yeah. He flop him out. So let's do Waterboy. You know. Waterboy is real nice. A real nice movie. So uh, we got one gotta go. So I'm gonna give you four options. One of them gotta go. You gotta pick one of them to leave. So right. it's good. We good in the shot. One gotta go. So. Out of the four, way, out of the savage life. Four. Which one gotta go? Four. Four. Fuck that. Nothing was harder than one and two. What's your fa what, what's your favorite out of one and two then? Fuck. For y'all looking at home, we're looking at Webby, all the savage life. I hate to savage be the life one through I four. I hate to be huh? the predictable. Oh. Well, I hate sorry. to be the predictable old nigga and pick one. But yeah. two was hard. I mean, one gonna be my shit though. Savage like one went hard though. Man. So was like two went hard. Like so. as usual, like a lot of niggas first shit go hard. You know okay. What I mean? So we're gonna do one more of these. One gotta go. What's up with it? This hard. This a hard one. Yeah. Ooh. God damn. Uh you know what? What the fuck all was on all or nothing? What was the what was the strong song all or nothing? Oh, shit. Uh huh. I, I t I'm gonna be honest with you. That would be my pick. Yeah. That would be my. You pick. can't get rid of ghetto stories. No, no. You can't get rid of gangster music. Cannot. And I might have got away, but shit, they had some hard shit on Survival of the Fittest. Yeah, Trill Fam, all or nothing gone. The I'm last gonna... word. So what that says about them? They get worse with time. They get worse <laughs> with time. That shit used to be rough. Hey, I but... still a pop in that old boozy. I'm gonna always support them and be biased because they've yeah. down here, but you know, <clears throat> I don't know. You you like boosting new song? Get your mind right. Fuck no. You don't like that? Bitch? That bitch roll though. That bitch do roll. I don't like that shit. I think that shit was uh, I I this what I love boosting. I love the way boosted yeah. father to his kids. I yeah. love boosted mama. I love that he's from down here, but I think. The shit was disrespectful, tacky, yeah. and unnecessary. Well, he actually... And then they're going to say, well, Nessie said... Yeah, but Nessie's dead now. He actually took it out. You know, and he got two versions and kind of took it out. Mm. Like, he, he made it so he see him, say nothing. I be wanting to see these niggas live for yeah. a long time. G-Money was about to get signed. Like, all that yeah. beef shit ain't really worth it. Like, but like, why don't we beef with niggas from out of town? I feel like all the people in BR that's about to blow that's on the cusp of blowing... <laughs> Always get killed. It's like a fucking curse, son. Huh? Yeah. Louisiana curse. Yeah. But we're going to break that shit. You know what I'm saying? We're going we gonna to break that shit, man. I want to see Boozer Little be an old ass man. Yeah. To see them cheering graduate. I want to see all them niggas grow to get old. Man. That's the fucked up thing about young, young niggas dying. Like, <clears throat> G Money got kids. 
I hate to see them kids online after that shit happened, man, because it's like, you know, G Money wasn't no bad, fucked up riding dude. Uh-huh. It's just like, these niggas be want to do each other nothing. I bet you they can't really tell you what the shit be about. Yeah. You know what I mean? And Austin on the track. That's over cell phone. That's fucked up. Come on, man. <clears throat> Moving on. Free the money. Huh? Free the money. Free the money. When I say free the money, man, I'm talking about free the money. I feel like there is no real war on drugs. Yeah. So when you lock up niggas like Jeff Perry, you locking up a real big dog. You locking up a nigga with buku money yeah. who can influence niggas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when you take niggas, you like take niggas like Rico Howard and Tulu and niggas like you kill a Ivory Smith or you kill uh you know, big time niggas. When you take these niggas or kill these niggas, you you killing the influence. Mm-hmm. Money influence niggas and power influence niggas. Mm-hmm. So when you take these dudes and you give them 40, imagine what, if Meech say something, Big Meech would say something in Atlanta, that's law. Because niggas don't want the repercussion, but they want to take all them niggas out. You know what I'm saying? And then they want police us. We don't respect you. Yeah. We respect them. Yeah. I'm going to respect my, I respect CeeLo. If CeeLo tell me, if I might want to kill you. If CeeLo tell me don't kill your motherfucking ass, I ain't going to kill you. That's my big dog. Niggas hollering about they ain't got no big dog. That's my big home, man. I love my dad behind him. I'm going out there behind him. That's my dog, man. That nigga, gonna te- that nigga a true big dog, man. That nigga told me violence fuck up the money. Yeah. You need to work on getting CeeLo on this bitch. We get him on there. Moving on. He like those seconds and shit. Like, <laughs> We got like imported beer. We can have a beer version of this bitch. <laughs> Line them imports up. <laughs> Moving he on. Knock them bitches out. <laughs> <laughs> we moving to the seventh shot. We all moved to the end. We got blood go. shot. Thug like it got thug like on his side? Mm-hmm. Yeah, nigga. Bang bang. <sighs> it was thugging. <coughs> yeah, it was thugging. They go to after shot. That wasn't bad. It was like menthol. For you, I'm feel like I'm over with. It's over with. You sound like Rocky, son. All right. Adrian. <laughs> for you. All right. For the seventh shot, the question I got for you is, um, <laughs> tell us about the worst drunken experience you've ever had. There's a lot of them sound like. Hey. I've had worse Xan- Xanaboy experience. Uh, let me know about that. <laughs> let me know about that. <laughs> I fell in love with a stripper one time when I, when I was on. That was my phone, you guys. Okay. Um, <laughs> I used to do this shit called Bottle Squad. Uh huh. And uh, I used to go to the club and buy Buku bottles, Buku bottles, Buku bottles. And um, I don't know. I kind of love all my drunken nights. Who was the worst? <clears throat> I don't remember throwing up. I don't remember being sick. I don't know. I love all my drunken nights. So that's my answer. Love all your drunken nights. You never had a worse drunken night. Not that I could fucking recall. Or maybe I was so drunk I don't remember. Bottle squad used to buy bottles even after one thirty. Oh man, we, we Y'all we, buying bottles after one thirty? Man, look, we bought all the bottles in the club one time. Let's, ladies, that's mm-hmm. how you know who really balling. You buying the bottle after one thirty, they got money. We had money. Have money, have money. We had money. Have. We just a bill paying nigga like you now. Yeah. That's because I ain't selling dope no more. Fuck the police. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't the Roxy plug no more, baby. Hey, I'm done. John and Domino hit him up for booking. Uh, he hosts bachelor bachelor parties, bachelorette parties. He can get it popping, you feel me? All that shit. Quick plug, you feel me? You ever try Let's Boosie go. Snacks? Nah. Hey, them bitches, they straight. They like, I give them a 7 out of 10. That's what my rate was, a 7 out of 10. I think so. 7 out of 10. Yes, yeah, They like a, uh, like, you know, the, uh, fucking, the Lay's, what is it, uh, <clears throat> the heat, the hot barbecue heat Lay's. I move on. <laughs> I'm moving on to shout out one. Fuck, moving on. <laughs> moving, moving, it's working, <laughs> baby. Moving on to shot eight. We're going to the colon cleanser. This is the last shot. Just some freaky shit. Purple in that motherfucker. <laughs> you heard that bitch cloud of color. Hey, that dude, <laughs> hey, that's the drag of dread. <laughs> Not another one. 
Man, that's what they got a urinal at the bottom of that bitch. Yeah, they got the even the peeler thing, the the cleanser thing. I waste a little bit on here. It's if that was right. sir about to lick that shit. Alright, um If that was drink, I'd be like, I'll drive a little lean on motherfucker. So Johnny Domino. Yeah. We know you do everything. Allegedly. Uh a media catalyst. Yeah, I like so that. um what you got coming up? Like what you working on? What 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 do the people have to look forward to that you got coming out? Um, I got a couple. I got uh like maybe three movies in the making. Mm-hmm. I gotta finish up on the scripts, and we got this uh uh comedy series called Halfway House. Mm-hmm. It's a it's a privileged halfway house that uh people who have connections with the governor in the city they get out of jail and they go to this halfway house. Uh, and it's it's a comedic series about uh criminals coming to the halfway house but their privilege is a whole nother different setup it's not like your traditional halfway houses one of the girls that's there she was uh locked up she's a sex offender but she was locked up because she she went to all girls school and, and uh she like grabbing dicks and balls she 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 grabbed so many balls and dicks until she got somebody just got so un- some dude got so uncomfortable yeah. he put charges on her you know what I'm saying? And so, like, they got her in the house with, like, stress balls. Yeah, ever. To, to yeah, ever. Yeah, and it's coy. You ever put charges on a girl that grabs your, your dick in your no, balls? I don't. I only play. I only call the people for the ambulance, fire truck, or insurance claim. Okay, cool. And yeah, the people are worthless to me. I don't have no use for them. So. <clears throat> Unless I need an insurance claim. That's a good one. Um, so, <laughs> it's about that time. I'm drunk. I don't know if you drunk. You feel good. You feel good? Yeah. yeah. Uh, this your plug time. Let the people know what you got coming out, what's coming up this weekend. I know your birthday coming up. Yeah. Let them know what you got going on. Yeah, this Saturday, man, we're going to be at uh, Ruffins Downtown. My man, Jeezy All-Star, got my birthday party going down this Saturday at Ruffins. Y'all come through. Um, see some high drunken mess, man. You know what I'm saying? We're going to turn up. and just have fun, man. I want to have a good, peaceful night. No bullshit. Uh, hopefully, uh, Wayne Brady don't have to slap a bitch. But uh, we just going to have fun, man. You know what I'm saying? And turn up. And, and, and we got a lot of shows uh, coming up. Um, we got another TV series called I Am You. I'm not going to leak that too much. But uh, that's coming. Uh, the Halfway House comedy series. And uh, I'm about to... I'm, now that I'm here with J.K., okay. I'm about to, uh, now that I'm here with JK, I'm about to, uh, okay. damn, maybe I'm getting there, huh? Yeah, I think you're getting there. I want to team up, and we're going to come up with something together. Yeah. Our own TV series, little show. Um, I, I'm, I'm thinking about doing the Ultimate Hustler competition. You know, all these niggas say they hustlers. We're going to see if they really hustlers. We're going to yeah. put them into a situation and see could they hustle their way out of it. Yeah. Competitive game show type thing. I am DJ Cole. This is Johnny Domino. AKA the fraud guy. <laughs> <laughs> this has been down in one and he beat the challenge. <laughs> I whooped him too. <laughs> he long. Yeah. Y'all make sure y'all like the video. Subscribe to JK Studios. Stay tuned. This is just the end of season one. Y'all stay tuned for season two. We got a lot of things coming up. We're going to New Orleans. We're moving all over, you feel me? Um, Next year going to be even doper, baby. Season 2, JK Studios, down in one. Who's going to be drunk yeah. at the end? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to be way drunk. <laughs> JK Studios. Y'all make sure y'all comment below. Let me know who y'all want to see get drunk with me. Who y'all think could out drink me? And but, all the negative comments, I'm telling you ahead of time to suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and any any strippers that want to be a part of this show, Woo-hoo! let us know. You feel me? JK Studios, the DJ Cole, Johnny Domino, down in one. <laughs> Boom.